there guys how's it going so this video got a few updates for you from david ornstein regarding amarim and alonso we've also got a bit of an update regarding alonso from the bayer munich president uli hunas if that's how you pronounce his name but first before i get to that i just want to give you a little bit of an update regarding liverpool's injuries now it says here on the athletic by james pierce that liverpool receive andy robertson boost as defender avoids serious injury so he's got no sign of bone or ligament damage and he's expected to be out for just a couple of days. He is still a doubt for the game on Sunday against Brighton, but they expect him to be back for the game on Thursday next week of uh, against Sheffield United. Um, yeah, that's basically it for that, guys. <laughs> uh, again, he, he touches on Alonso, uh, not Alonso, sorry, uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold here, saying that he expects him to be back by April the 11th. And that Alisson um, is still got no time. He's just basically aiming in the middle of April um, for a return. So, yeah, not bad news there, guys, on Andy Robertson. I think as well, also, Darwin Nunes and Ryan Gravenberch have been seen to be training today. So, they should be back for the game on Sunday. There was rumours surrounding Kanate and Curtis Jones will be back. But apparently, there's no, like, footage of them actually out on the training pitch as of yet. So... Um, we'll have to wait and see what happens with that, I guess. We'll get an update on the uh, the press conference. don't know when that is. I'm presuming it'll probably be tomorrow um, when that'll be. So, yeah, we'll have to wait and see what happens in that. Now, for this manager update we've kind of got. So, every week, I think it's every week, David Ornstein does this uh, questions and answer things, this Q&A, where subscribers to The Athletic can put questions to him and he answers them. Obviously, he only answers ones that he knows anything about or you could say is going to generate clicks and stuff like that do you know what i mean but he has touched on Xabi alonso and ruben amarim today so firstly i feel like i should just touch on the amarim one because that one's on my phone and basically the question was is amarim a serious contender for the liverpool job and ornstein's uh, reply to that was he's definitely among the candidates under consideration which is something that we already know I'm sure, like all options, dialogue of some description has taken place, and no doubt he would be at the very least considered. He would he would at very least consider a club like Liverpool. Uh, yeah, I think it's pretty much common knowledge that we know that uh, Liverpool have had a chat with his agent. I did you know talk about that in the video about Luis Diaz uh, wanting to leave because they've got the same agent. There is a release clause in his sporting contract, but I think that it is now lower than when it, than it was when Chelsea spoke to him in the past. Now, again, I think that was another video I did a few days ago now. Um, one journalist was saying it's at like 20 million, but The Athletic reported in January that it was like 8.5. So again, I do think that this again is in relation to that, that Amarim's release clause is about 8.5, 9 million uh, pounds. It's also interesting to see that Chelsea were also interested in last year as well. I do f see him making a move this summer, as in Amarim. And Liverpool is certainly a possibility. Although the process is ongoing and open, so I'm not aware of any firm decisions at this point. So he's saying there basically that he doesn't know anything in regards to where Liverpool are going in regards to the managerial situation. It would seem that you've got to keep your eye on Paul Joyce for anything of late, especially since Michael Edwards has come back. He seems to have started up again, doesn't he? Um, with these exclusives and everything like that. So let's wait and see who gets the scoop first. Is it going to be Ornstein, who was the first to release the news regarding Liverpool being put up for sale? Or is it going to be Joyce? Now, in regards to Alonso, he was asked, um, let me ask you a straight question. There is a story in the German media that Xabi Alonso has ruled out Liverpool. Do you know if there's any truth to this story? So that's the question, guys. Onstein's reply to that was, I don't know of any de definite decision being made yet, but clearly Liverpool will have known from the start that Alonso staying at Bayer Leverkusen or moving to Bayern Munich are also strong options available to him. So there's no guarantee he will come to Liverpool. I'm sure the club will be calm with that possibility. 
That's why they are conducting a proper process and I'm sure whatever happens and regardless of whether or not it is Alonso, they will make a really strong appointment. So again, he's kind of sitting on the fence. Like it sounds like Ornstein doesn't know. Do you know what I mean? Which it's not surprising, you know, a lot, a lot of people know. However, just to tie into this, Fabrizio Romano has tweeted out um, this from Bayern Munich's president, Uli Hunnis, who is quoted as in saying here, I feel that it will be very difficult to sign Xabi Alonso. Not to say probably impossible. I can certainly imagine him staying at Bayer Leverkusen to continue his job. So the president of Bayern Munich, or one of the president of Bayern Munich, is basically saying that they expect him to stay at Bayer Leverkusen. I don't know, guys, you know. I do kind of want Alonso, but I, I've been saying it for about a month now. I am leaning more towards Amarim. I really am. And I I don't know why. <laughs> um, I do hope that it is Alonso, but I, yeah. The more stuff that, we, that comes out, it seems less likely, do you know? I mean, I'm not putting any credence behind that Florian Plettenberg stuff the other day. Like, he doesn't seem to know anything at the moment. Um, he was generally pretty good with transfers in the summer and stuff like that, we, you know, with German players but uh, or people from Germany and stuff like that, you know, that play in Germany. But he seems to have uh, dropped a bit of a clangor with this Alonso stuff, never knowing, changing his opinion from day to day, do you know what I mean? But, yeah, guys, that is basically the update, so... It ain't much of one. It isn't, like, anything groundbreaking. But I just want to know your comments down below, guys. Like, what's your thought process on this? Do you feel any sort of credibility behind the Uli Hunnis quotes in regards to Alonso staying at Leverkusen? Um, and, yeah, I guess that's really the, the crux of the video, guys. Do you believe what Uli Hunnis is saying um, at Bayern Munich? Let me know down in the comments below, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.